Have you had a hard day at work? Maybe you just had a stressful experience at school. Or maybe you just got done smoking a pound of weed in one sitting. Fugal just may be the game for you. As I put in the title, Fugal is essentially a procedural relaxation game. The whole terrain and everything you explore is generated, and it has this awesome pixel 8-bit style, which I love. I love games like that, and if you are like me and love pixel games, you're going to feel at home. As far as gameplay goes, there's 11 maps so far. This is an early access game, so I'm pretty sure they're planning on adding more, and I'm only going to show you two of them, by the way, in this video, because I'm pretty sure you're going to want to experience them yourselves and i understand that so i'm only going to be showing two in this video thankfully controlling the bird feels very fluid and the controls are amazing they work well especially if you're using a controller i recommend a controller but you can use the keyboard and it works completely fine with that but they have this awesome soaring mechanic where if you have enough momentum you can soar down without flapping your wings and just kind of soar through caves and have this awesome uh, bird flying experience essentially they also have a very good physics system which you can actually customize to however you would like and you can even combine some of these mechanics like if you're going the direction the wind is flowing and using the soaring mechanic you can get very good momentum which makes soaring through each map just so much more enjoyable there's a very interesting morphing mechanic where if you fly right into a bird or even an animal on the ground you can morph into them and just continue your flight as that animal you can also land on the ground and just roam around if you like a certain area and can just kind of take in the scenery i guess what's cool is that each animal you morph into has its own physics so one bird can fly faster than the other one bird can be a piece of shit and suck sorry I'm going off the rails here a little bit but some of these animals you morph into suck okay avoid the gorilla especially Anyways, back to the review. And if you end up liking how a certain bird flies and you want to keep playing as it, you can go to the avatar screen and select it. So each time you start a game, you begin as that bird. And even if you don't like the morphing mechanic at all, you can turn it off completely and stay as whatever bird you like. Also, side note, this is very important. You can dive into the water, morph into a fish, and fly back out of the water as a flying fish. So, I mean, if you're on the fence, it's, it's something to think about. You can even customize each bird if you would like to change how they look, how they work, anything like that. So basically you can make your own creature if you want. There's also a workshop where you can download what other people make and you can also upload to it if you'd like. The sound is really good too. They have this nice calming soundtrack in the background. And also as you're flying around, you know, of course you hear your wings flapping, but you also hear the animals that you're flying by making noises. You can even make noises yourself if you want to join in and talk to the NPCs. You know, if you want some friends, I don't blame you. I do it. I'm guessing you're curious as to how it sounds so i'm gonna give it 15 seconds here where i'm not talking and you can just enjoy the sounds the game doesn't have any goals or quests to do but it's not that's not what the game's about however there are mythical creatures you can find which are extremely rare i've been playing for hours and i have not found a single one so there is kind of a goal if you think about it you can look out for mythical creatures as you're flying around if you want which is kind of cool honestly i do like that in its current state though you will experience some bugs the worst one i've experienced from time to time is when i'm switching the biomes the game tends to crash occasionally it doesn't happen often but it does happen and another one is when you're flying around sometimes a giant gaping hole will open in the earth and kind of honestly kill the vibe of the casual you know bird flying experience just seeing a giant endless void below you but those were the only two real bugs i've experienced as performance goes it runs very well i get a steady 60 frames per second as i'm playing it and my computer's decent it's not the best thing in the world it's not like a titan gx 90 whatever you call them these days but it's a decent computer as i said this game doesn't have any goals to it but it's kind of the game you play if you're listening to a podcast or maybe watching a video in the background and want to kind of do something it's very good for that like also if you listen to creepy pastas like those scary stories it's an amazing game to just play in the background as you're listening to it and i think this game works perfectly for that and that essentially determines whether the game's worth it or not it's only 10 bucks but if you see yourself listening to a lot of podcasts and videos and want to do something in the background then i definitely recommend it that's not to say playing it on its own is not good i'm just saying that you're going to get a lot more hours out of it if you're playing it for that reason and also of course it's a great relaxation tool if you just want to zone out and fly around as a bird it's awesome for that too. So yeah, overall, I definitely recommend it. Just know what type of game you're getting into. It's not like you're going on an epic quest to slay the mighty bird dragon in the lands of Fugal. It, that, that's not what it is. 
And like I said, if you see yourself enjoying it, definitely go for it. I think you'd like it. That's it for the review. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I normally post gameplay videos, and this is only my second review I've done, but I definitely plan on making more indie game reviews in the future. If you end up getting the game, I hope you enjoy it, and have fun flying around, I guess. See ya.